So now here we have our media, our sequences, we have our selects, our drafts are currently empty. We have the different versions. But one thing that we're gonna go in here and do real quick is we're gonna do a new bin because the client just sent over their logos. So we're gonna put in logos. And there's something else that we'll need is new bin, music. So logos, let me import, Benny's on the beach, logos. Perfect. Now I have the logos here. So let's go over to sequences. We're going to go to drafts version one, right? Two. So Benny. The way I like to work for this is that I will normally have the selects either on the bottom or the top. Um, I normally have them on the bottom just because I find it easier to be able to just pull the clips up versus bringing the clips down. And I want to have my main timeline that I'm looking at, um, uh, just at the top, I guess in the middle, since I'm, you know, if you're going to be scrubbing through here, it's a lot easier versus just scrubbing down here and trying to look up. So let's go over here. Let's over the new clips. One quick tip, as you can tell that when you're going through the footage, you're going to hear this playback. So to remove that, what do you do is come up here to edit preferences, audio, then here play audio while scrubbing. Just click that off. Okay. Now you don't have that scrubbing sound anymore. All right, moving on. So normally what I'll do is I'll try to just put together a couple of clips and depending on the length of the video. So this one, I know is going to be a one minute video. I'll come in here to the one minute mark and I'll hit the O for the out point. And now I know that this is a timeline that I'm working with for my project. So next what I'll do is I'll try to come in and find a couple clips that I can use for my intro. So now because these are 4k clips and we're putting them into a 1080 timeline, that's where we export all our projects in. They're going to be in 1080. What I like to do, I say, just keep the existing setting and you just have to remember that once you bring your uh, clips on here, that you're going to have to want to make them bigger. So let me just double check real, real quick, sequence settings. Perfect. Okay. And this is really me just putting together kind of a, a rough cut for the project. So for the next step that I'm going to show you, so it's definitely like them walking in, but. So this is something else to know is, uh, you know, this guy here, he's the actual owner, the guy paying the bill. So whenever there are shots of the owner, boss, CEO, you definitely want to, um, get him in there because at the end of the day, like you're really playing to somebody's ego. The more that they see themselves in the video, honestly, the, the more they end up liking it. So just keep that in mind. And I'm just scrubbing, trying to see, you know, what kind of shots I could throw in here. Anything like, you know, people's reactions is always good. You want to show people having fun. You know, at the end of the day, we're selling an experience. As you can tell right now, I already went over the one minute mark, but at this point, what I'm doing is just try to find clips that I like to put on here. And once I start playing with, uh, uh with trimming down things, this would get a lot shorter. So this is a shot that I really liked. But as you could tell, part of it was out of focus. We never want to use out of focus shots. Good one. Sharing them, sharing the food. Like Amy, it looks really appealing. We, we want to get that right. Laughing reactions are always good. So these might be insert shots that I put on throughout just so we know you know, where they're at. So here, Crunch went through all the clips we got. We're about a two minute long video at this time. So I just mute this for now. And another big thing, if you watch the, the training guide list we put together, you know, we always say to cut an action. So, you know, that's an example of an action shot. So this one can go cut there. They can go ahead where it comes out.
So with this one here, her pointing that shot in there, what I might do is just move this one back a little bit to see her pointing the shot. Then I cheers. So I might move this one away just because, uh, you know, we saw that girl drinking one of the drinks. So what I might come in here is just move their placement. So we might just have this come to the side. Make sure to take a photo of the drink. And then we can have her friend like tasting it. Like, oh, that looks really good, right? So him doing that, what I might look for is see if there's a shot of them laughing. Because you always gonna have reactions to what's happening. All right, so I'm going to go back here to them. So it's all food. See that? That's that's cute. So let's do that there. So we'll cut that one out. We'll throw this one in and see if we can get a shot of them laughing. All right, so maybe we don't have one of them laughing. And it's just a process of like looking through the clips and trying to see what's the best shot that we can put in there. So like having them organized into different sections just helps that process. So that's a good reaction shot. I'm bring that up there. Just want to have it later. Okay, cool. So remember I cut an action. So maybe just to tease all the different food, we'll do the top down shot. So let me see if we can get a smoother version of that. Nope, we didn't see cheeky shots. We just don't want them. It's good. So maybe we'll just move this one around. So as before we saw them picking at this, and now I want to show the other one, and then I want to show them sharing that. Reaction, perfect. So you might lose this one because you already showed this, but it's good to have them like sharing the food. What else I'm missing? So we already have that shot, remove that. Oh, this one's good. We can add that on here. So now, you know, we're already down to about a minute and four seconds. Other things that I want to do is add some of like, you know, the vibe. These are the little shots that really make place. You have the guy singing, which is good to have. And then we have a lot of more, excuse me, a lot more drone options. But now that I have an idea of what this is going to look like, the next step, what we're going to be doing is actually sourcing music.